today we are back out exploring Bangkok and we just walked over to Chinatown. We are right on the edge of it I think and we don't really have much plan today other than just going around and exploring and eating a ton of food. And so first things first today, we need some caffeine. We need to find a coffee shop or something. I don't know what else to say but I guess we're just going to walk over and get some caffeine. The first market that we're headed to is called Talak Pao, and we saw online that it was better to visit in the morning so that you can get, you know, the fresher foods and ingredients, and I'm sure that's true for both markets, all markets, but, but it's already 1 p.m., so definitely not morning, but hopefully, hopefully it'll still be a cool experience. Is it meet your expectations or no? I think it could go well with some sauce, but it's really good. The piece I just had wasn't fatty. You can see some fat at the end, but it's really good. It's a very basic fried, fried pork. Same, but they. Wow. 
ready for more food. So, we've gotten super distracted. Did we ever actually make it to the market that we were walking to? Like, is that what we're walking to? I have no idea. That may have been the market. We got so distracted. Okay, do you want to go the other way now? We find our way back through. We got a table in shade with the pan right next to us. When we were walking through the street the first time, there was a noodle shop that looked really good, but it was totally packed. Now there were, there were six. So we're gonna get some noodles, for the bowl noodles. I feel like even splitting something, this could fill us up, these bowls look big. But they looked like, oh my gosh, you can see how sweaty they are. <laughs> when we walked up here, we could see the, the menu on the stand. We couldn't really tell what everybody was getting. I feel like the pictures on the menu looked different than most of what we were seeing in front of people. But that was so easy. The woman, the cook, came up to us and we said soup. And she said pork. And we said yes. And now we have soup. <laughs> That's how a lot of the places are, it seems like. They pretty much have one menu item. And it makes it so easy. Yes. Have one menu item or just didn't want to deal with explaining other menu items. Yeah. We don't know. That. down here when a motorcycle goes through. I think that Shrine may have had some of the coolest artwork that I've seen in any of them that we've seen. So it's a Chinese shrine to Lord Quan, who is the god of loyalty and righteousness um, in the Chinese beliefs. Just the artwork in there is so cool. I just, I love that um, Chinese style of, of artwork that's like such vibrant and colorful reds and blues. And, and then all, the, all of the, the, the colorful fish. Yeah, I, I just, I love how colorful it is. And it was just like right in the right off the street. Like we we almost didn't go in. Always going. I'm pretty convinced that if you walk around this place long enough, you can find literally anything that you want. We have seen such a variety of shops. Everything that I can think of, we have seen here in this street or on the way to here. It's crazy. The cooked fish that's on there and the little bowls. That looks really, that looks really good. good, yeah. I think I'm gonna go for something a little more. Squiddy? Squiddy, yeah. The, the squid or octopus that I'm gonna order, it looks like orange. I don't know if that's natural or if it's like a sauce that they put on it, but it looks very orange. This was better. She said the other one was sticky or stinky, <laughs> but still got some kind of squid or octopus. I also, she put, she asked if I wanted spicy, and I said yes. And it smells good. The sauce smells so good. How is it? Spicy? There's something crunchy. So I was trying to bite harder. And then I bit my lip. <laughs> so normal. But it's so chewy. It's so a little crunchy. And a little spicy. So yes or no? You like it or not? I don't know. <laughs> the flavor is fine. Like it's not unusual. But it's a really odd texture. And it's so crunchy. It's like, like a tendon. Interesting. It was just a little part of it that was like tendon feeling. Other than that, it was good. It was like normal, like grilled calamari kind of. So it's nothing too unusual, but I didn't like the tender, the, the tendony texture. Google Maps is taking us through probably the narrowest side street that we've been in. <laughs>
which one's which? We got one pork and one chicken. It smells spicy. It smells, well, I think it smells, I think it smells similar to the rest of the kind of sauce we had. They always seem to, to double ask us when they ask if we want the spicy sauce. They, they like double check that we know what they're asking. That's amazing. And again, not very spicy. Maybe it'll help no. in a second. I don't know Maybe. if it's enough. Honestly, that's sweeter than it is spicy. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Today is an amazing food day. <laughs> I think every day in Thailand is an amazing food day. Mm -hmm. Almost. Almost. I don't know if we had different peppers on ours, but the pepper on mine was so spicy. Was yours still not spicy? Oh my god. No. Not bad at all. <laughs> Uh, that was really hot. You're getting weak, babe. Okay. And I think I've always been weak. We've just been lucky with the sauces not being super hot. But my mouth is on fire now. <sighs> I am absolutely in love with how smiley everybody is here. The whole time that we've been here, like 95% of the time, if you make eye contact with somebody and smile, they'll smile back so happily or wave just super enthusiastically. And I love it. I love it. We've missed that. Being in in Europe for a while. We forgot. Yeah, they don't do forgot that, that as much. Like. <laughs> I'm used to being smiled at or smiling and then being met with a very blank stare. <laughs> but this is very nice and refreshing. We've made it all the way back to the edge of Chinatown where we started this morning. And this street, which has been still the coolest street that we've seen today, I think, it looks even cooler after dark. All of the lights on, on the signs are lit up. It's gotten even busier and all the street lights and the cars. It's just such a cool experience. This is a totally different feel from yesterday. We went to our first night market last night, which was in our last video. And that was like just a bunch of food stalls kind of in a square underneath the building. But this is like, this is actually on the street. This is so cool. What is what is this? Lambutan. Mango tea and I lambutan. Oh, mango tea. Oh, you want to try one? Uh, yeah. Can we get one of these? Okay. What well, is this called? Mango tea, right? Yeah. I'm so glad we got a full thing of it. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. It's like kind of like an orange but sweeter, right? Yeah. Like a lot sweeter. We got a full thing of the for a hundred baht. And let me try and the same size bag of these for a hundred baht. That's so good. I've tried one of the first time I tried one of these was in Hawaii several years ago. And I remember loving them. I've tried them in the US since then and they did not did not meet the expectations that I had set from Hawaii. So I'm curious if they'll be as good here or if maybe I just am remembering it being better than it actually was. They look so funny from the outside. I love them. They're one of the most interesting looking fruits to me. But you peel it and it's kind of just like a there's a seed inside, so there's really not a ton of meat fruit on it. I just got so stuck in my teeth. The texture is super weird. It's almost like a like a jelly. I think the flavor is so good. Yeah, see there's a nice big seed in the middle. It's hard to not peel off parts of the seed with it, but there you go. Do you like it? Yeah? It kind of tastes like mango. A more mild mango. Yeah, definitely. Like mango mixed with uh, Or grape, mango mixed with grape. I can see that. Like a red grape, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is really good. More work than other fruit. <laughs> yeah. I was looking at what fruits you should try while in Thailand that you can't find as easily in the US. And mango teen was on that. And I had never heard of that before seeing it on some list yesterday. But I definitely think it's worth trying. That was so good. Thought it'd be easy, but we're having a little bit of difficulty on our mission to find some steamed buns. Yeah, we haven't really 
It's been a long day. It's been a really long day. But since we were so close, we wanted to walk to the Chinatown Gate, where most people will probably start exploring this area and where we did not. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Status it's in a construction. I like all the dragons. Well, now that we've walked all the way through it, we still didn't find any steamed buns, but we have already had those twice on this trip. So I'll just overlay pictures and videos of those. They were both delicious. They look like normal steamed buns. They do. I think we had I think we had barbecue ones the whole time the both times and they were delicious. So this has been crazy. Chinatown <laughs> is awesome. Very successful day. So we still have another week and a half, I think, left in Bangkok. So we will probably see you at least one or two more times while we're in the city. But that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.